assignment, of course, would fail because assignment is not declared as a const member function. However, notice that assigning from a const like bt2 into a modifiable object bt1, this works fine because the definition of the assignment operator expects a reference to a binary tree const as the right-hand argument and modifies the current object, which is to say the object on the left-hand side of the assignment. Okay, so now we know three uses of const. The first use of const is the simple one, where we simply define a symbolic constant to contain a value like const double pi is initialized with 3.1415, etc. The second one is in the case of reference or pointer parameters to a function, where the function receives a reference to an object that's const or a pointer to an object that's const as the function's way of promising that it will not modify the data coming into the function as an argument. And the third thing that we're using const for that we've just introduced is the idea of const member functions in classes. These are the accessor functions that can be invoked if the current object is a const object. Now the fourth thing we're going to look at as far as const is const pointers. Now it may sound like we've already done this, but in fact what we've done already is pointers to const, which are a different thing. So here we have an example of a pointer to const. P is a pointer to a care const. And we've initialized P to contain the address of the little h at the beginning of the string hello. Recall that hello is actually six cares, h-e-l-l-o and null. And P is set up as a pointer to the first care in that string literal. Because string literals are constant, we need to declare p as a pointer to a care const to make sure we don't accidentally change the character that p is pointing to. Now, it's perfectly fine to change p itself in this case. So in our first C out statement, we're saying display star p plus plus. Recall that the post increment happens last after everything else. So what we're actually doing here is we're accessing the h that p is currently pointing to, and the h is what's going to be displayed. And then we're incrementing the pointer p one character forward in memory, so that p is going to be pointing at the little e in the string hello. And consequently, in our second C out statement, when I display star p, that's going to display the little e. Now, because p is pointing to a care which is const, if I attempt to modify star p, I will get a compile time error. So, so this is what we've already done. A const pointer, on the other hand, is a pointer which itself is const. That is, the pointer points to some fixed location, and you cannot modify the pointer. Now, in this example here on slide 29, we're declaring p as, and recall our inside out, right then, left rule, we're declaring p as a const pointer to a care. Okay, so if we are careful to read that from right to left, this says that p is a const pointer to a care. The care that p is pointing to is not const. p itself is a const. We're initializing p with a. a in this case is the name of an array. This is an array of six cares containing h, e, l, l, o, and null. P is going to be pointing at the little h at the beginning of that array, and P cannot be changed. However, the care to which P is pointing can be changed. All right, so when we say star P gets j, that's fine. That changes the little h to a little j. And now, if we were to display the C style string that P is pointing to, it would come out as jello. However, because P is a const pointer, we're not allowed to change p itself. If we attempted to say plus plus p to move p forward to point to the little e, that would be a compile time error. All right, so again, comparing slide 28 to slide 29, 
using our right then left reading rule on slide 28 p is a pointer to a care which is const that means we can't change the care that p is pointing to but we can change p on slide 29 p is a const pointer to a care p is const but the care that p is pointing to is not const so we can change star p but we can't change p that's the distinction between a const pointer and notice how really important it is to read these declarations from right to left here on slide 30 we're combining these two notions to declare and initialize a const pointer to const. That is, p here, reading from right to left, is a const pointer to a care const. That means that we cannot change p, and we also cannot change the care that p is pointing to. We've initialized p with the address of the little h in the string literal hello. If we access P in the cout statement, since P is pointing at a care, we know that that ends up displaying a C style string, so that will display the characters H E L L O. We can also use P as an array as long as we're not attempting to modify an element in that array. P sub 4 fetches the sub 4 element from the array. And the sub 4 element is the character little o. But it's an error for us to attempt to modify the care that p is pointing to. So we cannot say star p gets little j. Likewise, it's an error to modify p itself. So we cannot say plus plus p. OK, so we have pointers to const, which we've been dealing with for a long time. We also have const pointers, and here on slide 30, we've introduced the idea of a const pointer to a const.